sector when it comes to collecting tax so as to fund our budget. So right now, I'd like us to go to our uh, Western-based reporter, man on the ground, Willie Lusige, who is going to be talking to us um, about, uh, you know, how uh, the, uh, the sugar sector is, uh, going to, is, is going to be funded during uh, this year's budget. What are farmers' expectations, uh, Willie Lusige, you know, sugarcane farmers, because that is a sector that has been hit so badly, not, uh, not only because of COVID-19, you've seen the sugar sector, the industries collapsing, forcing the government to step in in terms of giving them funds to actually revive the sugar sector. Good morning, Brenda. Actually, the bigger concern today as we wait for CS Okuria turn to read the 2.7 trillion budget and also carry on his shoulder the 904 debt bill in the same same budget. Most of the farmers here, especially in Western region, because the main cash crop here is sugarcane, they are concerned on how much will be allocated to the agriculture sector, especially specifically on the revival of the ailing sugar sector, because we are aware in the entire West and some of the millers that are now really working and supporting farmers are only private owned millers like West Kenya, Butali and many others. But those ones that were owned by the state including Mumia Sugar Company, the one we are standing on its ground right now and others like Nzoia, they are ailing. Some of them are not even being able to continue with their production. That's why totally affecting all the sugarcane farmers in this region. That leads to what we can term as poor economy in Western and apart from that uh, lack of development because monies that were fetched from these sugarcane and also from the sugar companies was the one that would end up uh, improving the economy. So what is happening so far, farmers do have a lot of expect expectations. Apart from that, they are still waiting to see how much will be allocated to the agriculture sector and maybe if the government will consider setting aside some funds to revive the ailing sugar companies, including Mumia's sugar here in the heart of Western region. And apart from that, also be able maybe to support these farmers because most of them because in a longer period of time they have not been able to continue with their farming because of the closure of some of these factories then they depend on incentives which might most probably come from the government so that it can convince them to resume cane farming because we know most of them had shifted from cane farming to other types of farming let me speak with some of the farmers here karibu sana kwenye ktn news tunataka tuzungumze kwa kifupi leo bajeti inasomwa wewe kama mkulima wa miwa unatarajia nini Asante bwana mtangazaji ni kwamba leo ningeliomba sana eh, ukuri ya tani ambaye ni waziri wa fedha kuweka nguvu mingi sana kwa mambo ya kilimo haswa sana ki, eh, kwa mambo ya kilimo ya miwa kwa sababu mimi natoka sehemu ya miwa ningeliomba sana ye haweke uzito wake mwingi kwa mambo ya kilimo kwa sababu E, vile inchi ilivyo na inchi zote ulimwenguni ukweli ni kwamba kilimo peke yake ndio inaweza saidia kuamusha uchumi wa inchi ya Kenya na e, dunia kwa jumla ya yeah. labda nyinyi mnatarajia zile fedha zi... kwa sababu tumeangalia viwanda vingi vimefungwa kama mumias sijui wewe labda uliuza miwa yako lini mara ya mwisho e, ukweli ni kwamba e, miwa niliuza e, ma, e, mwisho kitambo hata siwezi kumbuka kwa sababu nakumbukaga tu wakati mambo yetu ya mumias inakuwa sawa. So ningeliomba sana aweke uzito katika kiwanda hiki mfano cha mumias kwa sababu mimi ni mkaaji wa eneo la Western mumias ikiamuka eneo eh, sehemu ya Western region itakuwa sawa sana. Ya. Yeah. Na labda uchumi uliathirika tangu viwanda kama hivi vifungwe na unadhani labda serikali inafaa kutoa kiasi gani cha fedha? Uh, uh, ukweli ni kwamba asilimia karibu sabini kwa maumi yangu ingeliwekwa kwa, ki, kwa mambo ya viwanda haswa sana ya miwa kama hii yetu ya mumia asilimia sabini ya, uh, ya mfuko wa inchi wangeliweka kwa sehemu ya, 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 ya viwanda haswa sana ya mumia sugar yeah. na kumekuwa na swala pia ya bei ya sukari kushuka chini labda nyinyi mnatarajia itaweza kupanda juu uh, ukweli ni kwamba tunatarajia ishuke zaidi E, kwa sababu kwa ukweli ni kwamba kwa uchumi ulioko sasa zaidi ya shilingi moja kwa kilo kwa mambo ya sukari mimi naona kama hiyo itakuwa hi, bado iko juu zaidi kwa hivyo tunaomba ishuke sana ikiwezekana kabisa iende hata shilingi 80 kwa sababu hata 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 mafuta imeshuka ya yeah. Na kumekuwa na tatizo kwamba labda wakati bei ya sukari inaenda juu mkulima wa kawaida analipo fedha za chini e, e, ni, ni hivyo lakini sisi kwa sasa tuna imani na ukuri ya tani kwamba atabadilisha hali hiyo kutoka kwa vile ilikuwa inafanywa kitambo. Yeah. 
Mm. Na labda nyinyi kama wakazi umeathirika vipi? Miji ambayo iko karibu na maeneo kama ya mumia silifungwa. E, ukweli ni kwamba tumeathirika pakubwa sana e, hapa Shibale for example ndio karibu kabisa. Mumia town haina ile heka heka za kupata pesa vile tulikuwa tunapata. E, na Bungoma hata pia labda Bungoma labda inaweza kuwa inategemea sana mambo ya usafiri wa matrela. Lakini hapa Mumias Ekero karibu hapa ukweli ni kwamba hali si mzuri sana bwana mtangazaji. Tuliona baadhi ya kaunti zikiomba waziri okuru ya tan kuweza kutenga fedha ambazo zitapatiwa wakulima kwanza kama incentives ama kile kinwa mgongo ili waweze kurudia kilimo cha miwa manake tunajua wengi waliweza kuacha kulima miwa wakangoa miwa yao. Je ni jambo ambalo nyinyi mna imani nalo na labda mnahitaji fedha ngapi? E, ukweli ni kwamba tungeliomba kuongeza kwa wale waliohomba kwamba kilimo ipan, e, ipewe pesa pia hii yetu tuseme watu wa mias tunaomba pia ijumulisho kwa wale watu ambao watapewa pesa na ikiwezekana mabilioni za pesa kama bilioni tano, sita, au kumi, bilioni kumi, ili ziweze kuamsha viwanda kama hii kwa sababu vile ujuavyo na vile pia wewe umetembea umeona hali ya hali ya kilimo saa hii e, imetuadhiri ni maindi tu ambayo tunayo na maindi vile ujuavyo e, maindi haiwezi fanya e, tuseme sehemu hii yetu ya mumia haiwezi fanya watoto waende shule kilimo ya miwa ilikuwa inatusaidia sana watoto kwenda shule Yeah. Na, na labda tukimalizia tumeona hivi viwanda vya serikali ndivyo vinalia sana kuweza kusaidiwa na serikali kuu kupatiwa mgao katika bajeti kwamba viweze kuanzisha tena zile shughuli zake tunajua labda ufisadi ulikuwepo pale mwanzo mbona viwanda vya kibinafsi hivyo vinafanya kazi vizuri mbona hivi vya serikali ndivyo vinahitaji kupewa pesa kutoka kwenye bajeti mm. ukweli ni kwamba serikali ina nguvu ya kufanya kazi kila mahali kwa hivyo mambo ya kudanganya kwamba viwanda zipo za private hizo private ni watu wanaofanya kazi kwa serikali ndio wanabeba ujuzi na rasilimali zao wanaweka huko wanataka kuangusha hizi viwanda za za, 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 za serikali ili wao wapate faida zaidi kwa hivyo serikali ina uwezo na ingetoa order au e, mfano president atoe order kwamba ikiwa una shares kwa viwanda za binafsi e, usifanye kazi kwa serikali nadhani hiyo ingekuwa njia rahisi sana au mzuri ya viwanda za serikali kuendelea kwa hivyo leo mna matarajio makubwa kwa ukuru ya tano sisi tuna matarajio makubwa kwa ukuri ya utani na tuna imani na serikali hii ya Uhuru Kinyata kwa hawamu yake ya mwisho kwamba atafanya vizuri sana katika sekta ya kilimo asua sana ya miwa ya viwanda kama vile Mumias, Enzoia na zingine ambazo tunahomba sana hii budget yake ya wakati huu iwe sawa kabisa na tushukuru baada ya kusoma budget Asante. Asante sana. So those are just some of the comments by a farmer here in Mumi as we're concerned that maybe uh, the CS in charge of treasury Brenda Ukuru Yatan will factor in the ailing sugar sector and allocate more funds to the agriculture so that we can see some of these uh, sugar companies that had already closed down like Mumi as and even the ailing so here might be revived and then bring back hope to the sugarcane farmers in the entire western region and also be a part uh, in the play a key role actually in the revival of also the western economy which you have seen for a longest period of time since Mumi has collapsed there has been no change in terms of economy things have been going down and most of the families are already affected but they're still hoping that there's still a window where the government can allocate more funds to this sector and then maybe definitely in future things might be better Lusige, just before I let you go what is the expectation for this year's budget from the residents here you 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 as a person because I know you also have expectations. For me, ni unga ya unga ya pesa ya unga iteremke chini. I think personally, uh, the first thing is unga because I'm a lawyer and uh, Ugali is a staple food here. We have seen the cost going up, but apart from that also, Brenda, um, uh, sugarcane farmers, so I think the government will also factor in on giving us farmers incentives so that we can continue with this sugarcane farming, even though it is a challenge currently. All right. Thank you so much, Willi Lusiga. And I believe my brothers and sisters from the Western region will say Obusuma. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Thank you so much, Willi Lusiga. So that is expectation also, you know, as a Kenyan right there.
But this morning, uh, we are talking about, you know, um, matters uh, to do with this year's budget for the year uh, 20, for the financial year 20, uh, 20, 20, 21. And on a Twitter poll question, we're asking you what is expectation as a Kenyan when it comes to this year, this year's budget, the financial year budget for 20, 20, 20, 21 that is expected to be read by the Cabinet Secretary for Treasury, Kuri Atani, in the afternoon because all eyes 